So I'm not one to get like butt hurt from any type of jokes. I'm not. Um, I go to a lot of comedy specials. I love comedy. I laugh at anything. Even if I'm the butt of the joke, I find a way to find something funny out of it. Even though maybe in the back of my mind, I'm not really thinking like, oh, this is the funniest thing in the world. But sometimes people can make it funny even though you are the butt of the joke. You just have to have a sense of humor. This is why I try to sit in the front row of like comedy specials and stuff like that. A lot of times I can't get front row tickets because they're all sold out. But if I can, I, I want to sit in the front row. I want to uh, have a back and forth with the, the comedian or, or whatever, right? Um, but when I hear about certain jokes, right, where it's like they're talking about something that I truly believe in, it, it may be tough to kind of just brush the entire thing off. Um, but you understand that they are jokes and that's why you laugh it off and you move on to the next thing. But when you hear, you know, not only comedians talk about it, but the, the kind of, uh, confirmation of, of, you know, laughter that's there as well as, um, you know, different people that are, are talking about it, um, you know, in places to where they are not, um, in a joking setting, right? Maybe it's like, oh, uh, you have a video on YouTube or you have people that are talking about traditional stock market investing and they're saying, oh, well, crypto is going to zero. Crypto is not going to be worth anything. You would lose all your money if you invested any money into crypto. And it makes me think, it's like, why, why do you think that? Why do you believe that? And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because it, I, I thought back to a comedy special that I went to, which was... Um, it was Hassan Minhaj and we saw him in Philly and we were sitting like in middle of the pack, right? We couldn't get, we tried to get front row tickets and we couldn't um, because we knew we would have those type of conversations, those back and forth, um, you know, especially, you know, I feel like we would be kind of the outsiders of the group because he does have a lot of, um, you know, Indian people that will show up to, um, to this special, right? And they tend to buy out the first, first, first row, second row, third row, fourth row, literally the first like six or 10 rows were bought out. And um, we couldn't purchase anything. It was probably an hour into him putting his post out saying these are live in Philly. Um, we tried to get it, but nevertheless, we were there and we were listening. And he was talking to somebody who was an engineer. And he was like, um, I know you invested into crypto or I know you, you have a bunch of Bitcoin. Like how much Bitcoin do you have? Um, and he said, how much money did you lose in Bitcoin? And, uh, the guy was like, I didn't, I don't own any Bitcoin. I don't own any cryptocurrency. He was like, you're telling me that you've been an engineer for how many years and you do not know about Bitcoin or have not invested into Bitcoin. He's like, I just didn't get into it. I had a bunch of people that, you know, brought it up to me. I just didn't get into it. And, um, I think, and then he was like, well, good, you dodged a bullet because you would have like lost all your money. And I was like, okay, well, that doesn't make sense to me, but it's funny because everybody else is is laughing. It, it's funny. But when you think about it, in, in true fashion, if he was invested into Bitcoin or, or uh, obtained Bitcoin throughout that 10 years, he would be up massively on the Bitcoin that he obtained, especially in the beginning stages where you're getting, you know, hundreds or thousands of Bitcoin. And now it it's a mission to even, you know, mine one, right? So um, you would be up a massive amount. So I was thinking and I was like, why do people bag on crypto so much? Why do they hate on crypto so much that they will say that everybody will lose their money? <clears throat> and here's the reason. I think it's because it's a speculative investment. If people make money in penny stocks, they are the exception, not the rule. The rule is that, and I might have learned this from he's just not that into you, right? But uh, the rule is the fact that people lose money in, in penny stock trading. People lose money in day trading. But the exception are the people that make money. Um, when it comes to crypto right now, the exception are the people that make money, that know how to invest, that understand the market, um, rather than people that are just throwing money in there not understanding, right? That's the, that's the rule is that people don't understand. They don't know what the hell cryptocurrency is. They invest into it and they lose all their money. <clears throat> that's what the rule is. Um, but we, uh, going into this and making money in different places, we are the exception. 
And I think about it and I'm like, we shouldn't be bagging on crypto. We shouldn't be, uh, you know, upset at the fact that this is a, a new thing that maybe people don't understand. And if you don't understand it, you should try to understand it because people did the same thing for the internet. When the internet and people were making different businesses that were online businesses, um, Amazon as an online business. And it's like, this concept doesn't make sense to anybody. However, it exceeded expectations, all expectations that were there, because there were a ton of people that did not believe in it, did not believe in the model. And the model became what honestly is the rule today. And if you invest into Amazon nowadays, it's like, okay, you're investing into a good company. But if you invested into it before, it's like, this is a speculative play. You might not want to get into it, right? Um, and the same thing goes for Bitcoin, for Ethereum, for cryptocurrency in general. And it, it just makes me think about it. And I see not only the joking comments where it's like, the jokes are a different story. I listen to those jokes. I laugh at those jokes. It's funny because people that don't understand do lose money. It's real life. But people that do uh, that do understand here uh, don't lose money. They gain an opportunity. And throughout time, that opportunity becomes part of their life, becomes something that honestly shapes their life into something brand new, right? You saw what happened to, uh, well, the Winklevoss twins were already wealthy, right? They went to Harvard and, and all this other stuff and, you know, have daddy's money and everything. I, I don't honestly know that. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. But you have... Um, money going into, you know, different places. I'm not saying everybody that goes to Harvard has money. You know, sometimes you really work your way to get there. So not saying that. I don't want anybody to generalize that. But um, the the point of this is the fact that um, they made a good decision by investing into Bitcoin. Other people made a good decision by investing or mining and holding their Bitcoin. A person that made a bad decision and looks like a bad decision is someone who <clears throat> mined uh, or had 10,000 Bitcoins and they decided to trade it in for a Papa John's pizza. That's someone that's frowned upon. But why are we frowning upon them if we're also frowning upon crypto itself? Well, it's because you would be a multi-millionaire, probably hundreds of millions of dollars at this point. I honestly didn't go through the numbers, but you would have so much more money if you did that. But we villainize anybody, anybody investing into crypto, which is crazy. Crypto is not going to zero. Crypto is going somewhere massive. And we all know this, but some people just can't accept it because they didn't invest in at a low point. They didn't catch it while it was at less than a $1 trillion market cap. They didn't catch it while it would before the first run um, that we had here. Um, and they didn't catch it at this run because they thought everything was going to zero because we were in uh, more bullish momentum and they didn't want to believe uh, or try to believe for that long. Um, it's understandable. It's understandable. But you can't sit here and hate people for investing into something and the gains that they've received because of the fact that you didn't get in. That's what it seems like. I get so many comments a day <clears throat> where People are like, why don't you get back into traditional investing? If you don't know, I have another channel, the Matthew Perry 2 channel, where I talk about my dividend portfolio, the things that I'm investing into over there, any new um, you know, dividend project or dividend uh, company, which I just invested $3,000 into Nike as it you know collapsed from like $100 or $90 something dollars down to um, $73, $72. So I was like, all right, I'm going to pick up a bunch of that because Nike is a majorly successful company as well as have a ton of revenue. It may be plateauing, but I have a ton of revenue and I'm able to capture a dividend from. So I know about traditional investing and I invest in that way as well. But I also have a bunch in crypto because I understand what the long term is going to be of that. And it would be more of a set it and forget it type of thing. Like you buying Pokemon cards when the first edition came out and not touching them and just going, these are going to be worth a lot in the future. Well, guess what? They are. And if you have a Charizard, you know, depending on what the what the um, grading is and and everything there you might end up having a good 100,000, 300,000 or more dollars on your hands just from a single card. But that's a speculative play as well. So stop bagging on crypto. Like if you don't believe in crypto, then, you know, give yourself the reasons why. But the funny thing is these same people that either make jokes or don't believe in crypto or all of that, if you go back 
or if you when we go into the future and you see that people are making a bunch of money you're going to see that they made money from crypto as well because secretly they have money in cryptocurrency whether you feel like you believe in it or not um you you want to be a part of that speculation um it would make no sense if you weren't a part of that speculation because the only way that it would hurt you unless you're leverage trading the only way it would hurt you is if it goes truly to zero and we're not going to see that happen. So if you invest into it and it goes to zero, then you lose what you invested into, which it's not going to do. But if you invest into it and it goes to a massive amount, the upside is insanely high, right? <clears throat> Anyways, I just was thinking about that. I, I needed to have a conversation with you guys because it was just something that was on my mind. Um, because even though, you know, these are comedy shows, they still have some truth to them, right? Because people are laughing because people have lost money in cryptocurrency. I've lost money in cryptocurrency, but my gains have superseded the losses uh, by a massive amount. Um, but, you know, you've seen people that don't understand it that have lost way more money than, than what a normal person has lost, right? <clears throat> it's just um, something that's villainized right now. But then when it comes to cryptocurrency being successful, it's going to be a joke if you didn't invest in a crypto, right? Anyways, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. I don't know when I'm going to post this video, but uh, yeah, feel free to check out any of the links down below for Marjax or for uh, Patreon or Twitter, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.